is where we Guys, spill the tea. <laughs> I am ready, but I'm nervous. Uh, let's uh, get a bit <laughs> serious. <laughs> if I say what am I is my mentor, you come for me. <laughs> He's come for you. He's <laughs> always like I'm so far behind. <laughs> Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the relationship ended this following week. You are beautiful. <laughs> like I'm the guy on the camera. They they're trying to avoid me. conversation went for you what did you know about Nappy Briggs um, what did you know about Nappy Briggs that you found out through this interview and also leave him a couple of questions that I might not have asked in the comment section and hopefully he will answer them down uh, below <laughs> Please go ahead and subscribe because my boy is here to show you some love. I came all the way from Ghana to show some love to Lightbulb Moment and Mr. Eti. No, the whole family in Kenya. Like, if you're a YouTuber in Kenya, please, yeah. I'm showing you love. I came because of you. Thank so you. go ahead, subscribe to Lightbulb Moment. Let's do this. <laughs> Thank you for that uh, beautiful introduction. So, yeah, subscribe uh -huh. and like this video even mm. before you finish watching. Sure. So, it's going to be great. Uh -huh. We are going to be talking about Nappy Briggs. Mm. Things that you don't know about him, okay. everything you don't know about him, this is where we Guys, spill the tea. I am ready, but I'm nervous. I was behind don't the be camera, she, I was like, what are you going to ask me? She's like, you're just going to be on the hot seat. I'm already eating some hot pepper right now and I'm already hot. Oh. But we'll begin with the light ones, mm, okay. uh, Kama Kawaida as usual. Okay. So, who is Nappy Briggs and why the name Nappy Briggs? Okay. Um, Nappy Briggs is a content creator, a freelancer in graphic design mm -hmm. um, and that's my profession that's what I studied in school mm -hmm. and I've been on YouTube for 
two years mm -hmm. and um, Napa Bridge has 19,000 subscribers or mm -hmm. followers, mm -hmm. over 1.9 million mm -hmm. views. Mm -hmm. I'm a Ghanaian, mm -hmm. born in Ghana, mm -hmm. raised in Ghana, mm -hmm. and I don't know where I'll find myself at the end of the day. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. What else can I have? The name Nappy Bridge. Okay. How did it come um, along? I, when I was in high school, I really liked um, T Pain's music, mm. and T Pain is an American pop star, mm. and um, his other name is um, Nappy boy and um they called me up in that. school that's a life of moment right there <laughs> so uh -huh. um i just changed it because um it, it can be the same on youtube because there's uh, mm. t-pain on youtube already and people know him as nappy boy so i just mm. added the breaks and then fortunately it's um a jamaican name oh yes, really yes so nappy breaks is actually an african name as you know interesting <laughs> yeah. tell us about your upbringing in ghana um how was life being brought up in ghana now that you're a traveler right and you've experienced different cultures right how was your upbringing so um my let me say the tribe i'm from mm -hmm. we are really cultured mm -hmm. no disrespect to anybody but mm. um we're not allowed to go anywhere mm -hmm. we're always indoors mm -hmm. and even at age 25 to 30 yeah you're still a, a, a nurse like you're still mentored you're still taken care of mm. so the time you want to go and get married yeah. so right now at my age um it was so difficult to even come out of the house mm -hmm. and start traveling yeah. it was just like you're always being monitored mm -hmm. you're always being taken care of mm -hmm. so it's like um you growing up everything is in order so you are really principled before mm. you even get to the stage mm. yes <laughs> does that affect uh, your independence mm. and also your, the ability to like be your own person do your own things because of that protection that okay. extra protection it's uh, uh, it's good mm -hmm. and it's bad yeah so the good aspect is mm -hmm. you get to have every kind of training you want to go so right now as we talk i can really cook it mm -hmm. has helped help me yeah yes um when i travel i can cook on my own mm -hmm. i have certain friends that can cook mm -hmm. so if they start traveling to it will be difficult for them yeah right yeah and um the bad way is you are you're not exposed to the world mm -hmm. there are certain things it's it's not taught at home mm -hmm. you have to be with your friends or be with the world before you get to know it yeah. right so you're always home you're not mm. doing anything you're not mentored to do certain things mm. outside your home so it's like you're being you're a stranger to the world ah, something like that you've yes. been protected from too much reality <laughs> yes <laughs> there's this story i've seen on social media about Ghanaian youth uh, rejecting handouts from okay. politicians yes yes they said no yes. to the right you want jobs yes. <laughs> <laughs> maybe would you want to chime in on that right story yes yes a um, bit? that's a very good one mm -hmm. and um shout outs to all the youth that are trying to mm -hmm. do something like that yeah so um i also saw it yesterday or today i don't remember mm -hmm. and um, my brother mr et also posted it today yes i saw it yesterday and he posted it today yeah yes. so um you see these politicians always come mm. trying to please the people mm -hmm. they don't want to do their job mm -hmm. why will you give food to the people whilst the people need job mm. every year you come you give them this you get your votes yeah how much money will you give to a person mm -hmm. to make the person survive for the whole four years of your power yeah. that's not good so yeah. the youth are now rising up against all these um corrupt uh, leaders mm -hmm. i call them corrupt because mm -hmm. you are bribing them to vote for you ah, right yeah. so if i give you uh, for a bag instance of rice. A ba yes that was it <laughs> a bag of rice yeah. yes that can sustain me for the rest of my life yeah. or it can sustain me for the time you are going to be in power mm. so i think it's a very good thing that the youth are doing and mm. i hope every single youth in ghana will start practicing that even if it's a million dollars please yeah. try as much as you need it but try as much as possible to reject it or even if you take it vote for the right person mm. okay. yes right. <laughs> Alright, that's a good uh, point. <laughs> so, um, uh, let's uh, get a bit <laughs> serious. <laughs> Yo, guys, um, I'm ready. Tell us about your first crush when you were growing up. My first crush? Yes. Yes, my first crush. Ah. <laughs> it was a motorbike. <laughs> My, my first crash, okay, um, I don't remember, uh -huh. but I think, um, I don't remember. 
for real. I don't, you don't remember. remember. That I, person. You know, my personality is for everyone. Uh -huh. And you know, at, in the beginning, I told you, like, uh -huh. the, the tribe I'm from, mm -hmm. we are really mentored, protected like, protected and, and, and all that. So we are really reserved. Yeah. So talking about crush, I didn't even know anything about crush or, until I grew girls. up. Right. <laughs> until I became a man. Uh -huh. <laughs> So my first crush could be like my mom. <laughs> and celebrities, you didn't have a crush on any Not really. celebrity. Not really. Really? Yeah. That's because we are reserved. It's too much. <laughs> <laughs> so you were a church boy. Mm, something back like then. That. Yes. Ah, interesting. And in church, uh, you were not allowed to you mingle. Know. No mingling. No mingling. <laughs> no, no, no. For no. the youth. All right. <laughs> Man, I've started sweating already. <laughs> For me. <laughs> there was no mingling. No mingling. <laughs> so what is the when you started, you know, mingling now? Yeah. Uh, which uh, she went back again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Tell us the three to go to words you would use to get the attention of a of a lady. Yo, all the girls know it. You are beautiful. <laughs> like they tell me, the way I say beautiful is so different. <laughs> So let me let me take it. Yeah. You said three, right? Mm. You are beautiful. That's so good. That's, that's <laughs> it meets it. my so Did it always work? Uh, Did it always, always work? Always. Really? Always. So like it's like charming. You are beautiful. Like, Man, you should learn that. <laughs> that's a labor moment there for Don't somebody. Say you are beautiful. You are beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> and what is the most embarrassing thing you ever told a lady mm. that you had um interest? Right. Um what? It was my first time trying it to shoot my shots mm -hmm. and I went straight forward mm -hmm. and I like you know how people go want to be your friend let's like yeah. know each other well yeah and I went straight forward mm -hmm. like I want to be with you mm -hmm. like I mean the other side yeah. you know some kids are watching us so mm -hmm. I want to be like that like yeah. let's do it yeah. so it was like hey what the hell and they blocked me <laughs> oh, you got ghosted yeah, that person, just like that yeah, that person blocked me so <laughs> I, you know I wasn't perfect in that now I'm good don't yeah. try me <laughs> what is the most silliest thing you've done for love the silliest thing for love like you've gone all out mm. you're like I love this this lady yeah. and I'm gonna do everything. What like, you, but when you think back, you're like, oh my god. Yes, it was, that was just silly. It's so true. Like, what is the, that? <laughs> it's <laughs> coming <laughs> out. But there was a time uh -huh. I bought an expensive phone mm -hmm. for a lady, mm -hmm. and the relationship ended the following week. Wow. How much was it in uh, dollars? So it week? was an iPhone. <laughs> like, it was close to. 600 mm. or 700 one of them mm. yeah it was like just released i was just going to impress the girl because i have a girl you know <laughs> and it was 600 or 700 dollars i don't really remember ah. yeah. um now that we are talking about relationships mm. maybe you'd want to reveal mm -hmm. are you currently seeing somebody uh no at the moment no comment section yes, i will please. leave his number please if you know i'm seeing you in secret put it in the comment section <laughs> but if, if you know you want to you know what i mean my number is zero 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 <laughs> maybe you should tell them uh what you look for in a in a woman all right all right maybe um, three things that must have okay for a girlfriend or a life partner or mm. your future wife yes you should be really ready Mm -hmm. to manage the house mm -hmm. um, wow stay at home yeah. no 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 not stay okay. at home no okay. no okay like you know when i say manage the house mm -hmm. let's say weekend we all work together yeah and then when we're back home we all work together uh -huh. yes you know some women they they be like oh you're working i'm working so nobody should yeah oh what, you want yeah. to chill and relax yes <laughs> we don't want and that. you're in your own house right <laughs> and the um, second one is mm -hmm. um loving mm -hmm. you should be loving mm -hmm. um it will be official here. Mm -hmm. I've not said this on any channel before. Mm -hmm. Growing up, I've not been really, I've not had the um, cordial family relationship. Mm -hmm. So I wish I could have that. So if you're a woman there, mm -hmm. I want that too. Mm -hmm. This personality from you. Mm -hmm. And um, the third one, which is not the least, mm -hmm. you should be really hard working to support mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So are you the kind of a guy who'd want to settle like marry somebody or you just wanna you know do life together no i want to i want to build a home together um yes. by putting a ring on it yes. or <laughs> just yes. you know i want to build a home ah yes. okay all right so let's become less serious now right. <laughs> let's go so back to the cool down. <laughs> so tell us about your first 
hustle, the first job you ever did? The first job I ever did was molding um, bricks, mm. um, the cement, concrete bricks. Yeah, was, Django. Yeah. Oh, Kazi Mkono. Okay, there are others. <laughs> labor. Oh, yeah, labor, yeah. <laughs> that was the first job I did. It was tough. But um, yeah, you have to do it. You have to do what you have to do. Mm -hmm. yeah, so that was the really hustle, like the first hustle I ever did. How long did you do the job? Um, it wasn't a job that was like there for me to go and work, mm -hmm. but you just walk around, around and find. Wow, right. that's real yeah. hustling. Yeah, that made, that made me a man though. <laughs> <laughs> so now from that uh, hustling, lead us through the journey towards starting your YouTube channel. Yes, yes. So yeah. my next job was um, a teacher, mm -hmm. a people teacher. So I was teaching like primary school. Really? Do you call it primary school? Yeah. 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 So I was teaching primary school mm -hmm. and... Um, Are you going to school for that? Yes. I, no, no, no. Oh. No, it's just like private schools. Yeah. Oh, private tuition. School. I think we call it tuition. Like, like where you go and teach people over the holidays? No, this time I'm having a full-time job oh, as a teacher oh, okay. from Monday to All Friday. Right. Yeah. Yes. So, so you don't need any qualifications for that? Mm -hmm. All the qualifications you need like, is your high school certificate. Oh, interesting. And if you, if you understand the subjects, yeah. yes. So yeah. it's not like you have to go through the government and mm -hmm. all that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, but there are some schools that you have to do that, go through the government, get the mm -hmm. certification. And all that. Yeah, so that was my second job. Mm -hmm. So after that, I went to the university. Like, mm -hmm. I could save some money to go to the university. Actually, I was doing that to go mm -hmm. to the university. Mm -hmm. So I went to the university and I studied graphic design, mm -hmm. which became my job. Ah. So during that time, that's when I met with Amaya. Mm -hmm. It was around 2017. Mm -hmm. Maybe before 2017, maybe 2015, 2016. Mm -hmm. So that's when I met with Amaya, 2016, yeah. yes. Yeah. And then he was like, um, I should start YouTube because YouTube is good mm -hmm. and because I'm doing graphic design I can start something like that and teach people mm -hmm. how to do graphic works. Mm -hmm. So I took it by um, chance and I tried it for the first time. Mm -hmm. um, it really didn't work and then I had a friend who was doing YouTube too. Mm -hmm. So he, teach, he taught me how to start up a YouTube channel and then Wadamaya was also supporting at the mm -hmm. back. And then yeah, boom. So I'm here would you today. say Wadamaya inspired everything that you do right. on YouTube? Right. So right, if we mentor, this mostly, Wodemaya guy has mentored if, everybody on if, YouTube. If I say Wodemaya is my mentor, he'll come for me. <laughs> he'll come for you. He, he's always like, I'm so far behind that I'm not climbing. Because if he's mentoring me and I'm still there, he doesn't want that. So, you're still my mentor, I'm still coming. Yes. <laughs> I'm still doing it. I'll be there. Don't worry. Yeah. yeah, he wants me to get to a number yeah. and then start um, um, talking about all these. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, we are still there. Okay. Other than Wodemaya, who else inspires you? Um, so, I was watching this guy before I started, even started YouTube myself. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, his name is Drubinsky. Mm -hmm. Because, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, during um, my early, let's say my adulthood, mm -hmm. I wanted to travel mm -hmm. the world mm -hmm. and he was doing that. So, mm -hmm. yeah, he was like my inspiration as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I like him. And mm -hmm. up to now, I still watch him. Uh, which was your first country you traveled? Oh man! <laughs> I was like, um, should I say it? Yeah, you guys know. <laughs> Kenya. Ah, Kenya was your first yes, country? Ken yes, Kenya was my first country starting mm -hmm. YouTube. Ah. Yes, Kenya was my first country. Oh, so you never traveled before YouTube? I traveled to uh, as far as Togo for my country, it's just two hours mm -hmm. to Togo. So, but starting YouTube, mm -hmm. my first country mm -hmm. was Kenya. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, maybe you can tell us three things you've learned through your travel experience yeah. that are, that has transformed your you as a person right. or your craft or yeah basically All right. uh, nappy breaks. Sure. Three things that you've learned. Right. Um one is uh, meeting new people. Mm -hmm. Two is the culture mm -hmm. and three mm -hmm. language. Mm -hmm. Okay, culture is a, a language and a culture, so mm -hmm. um, let me just fix all together mm -hmm. and um with, with uh, meeting new people, mm. I didn't have the courage to be among people. Mm. Uh, I was an introvert. Mm. And until I started YouTube and I started traveling, mm -hmm. I started to mingle with people mm. and realize that um, I have the potential of even talking well in mm. public. Which yeah. is something you didn't realize. <laughs> yes, I didn't realize. Yeah. And um, the second one is the culture, mm -hmm. the language aspect too. Because mm. um, I have really wanted to learn so many languages. Mm. and. Um, Traveling on, on YouTube mm -hmm. has really helped me mm -hmm. to learn a little bit of every language from every country I've visited. Mm -hmm. I've, right now, I've visited five countries in East Africa. Mm -hmm. I wish I could just finish it before I go back home. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so language has really yeah. been on my heart, so I've been able to learn something too. Mm -hmm. Right. 
So you do uh, YouTube full time? Yes. If you are told to choose between a 9 to 5 and mm. YouTube, what would you choose? Um, I'll choose YouTube because mm. I have a 9 to 5 job already, ah. which is freelance. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I have my own job. Uh -huh. So I'm a graphic designer. So uh -huh. if you need any graphic work, please contact Snappy Breaks. Yeah. Thank you so much for giving me the chance to <laughs> advertise myself. Yeah. So um, I'll, I'll, I'll always choose YouTube because mm. YouTube is not just look creative, mm -hmm. it makes you learn a lot. Ah. It makes you learn a lot. It yeah. makes in and fact it, people right, it puts you on your tools, like mm -hmm. it makes you more hard working. Yeah, yeah. I'm not saying you're lazy already, but it makes you build on your working hard mm -hmm. more. Because it, you have to edit. Mm -hmm. In fact you have to plan on your video, mm -hmm. film the video, mm -hmm. edit the video, mm -hmm. post the video, mm -hmm. comment, reply people, mm -hmm. talk to people, listen to advice. So it keeps you on your toes, it makes you really, really hard work. So do you sleep? How long do you sleep? I don't remember the last time I slept for like eight hours. Cause so the longest you, you sleep in a day? The longest I sleep in a day will be like 45 hours. Wow, yeah. guys. Because I'll be there and then something will trigger me. Hey, go ahead. I think then guys. that's more than a nine to five. Yes, yes. And I want to give one advice to people mm -hmm. that um, if you're doing YouTube, mm -hmm. please concentrate on it well. Because mm -hmm. it really helps you. Because mm -hmm. it has made me who I am today yeah and um, I really appreciate it and if you are there you don't listen to advice to please mm. if you're a youtuber you don't listen to advice please try and listen to advice sometimes mm. yes that's helped me as well yeah yeah so how many countries have you been to okay let me just start from the first one mm -hmm. Kenya mm -hmm. Uganda yeah. Rwanda uh -huh. Tanzania uh -huh. and Ethiopia a little bit of Ethiopia mm -hmm. and Uganda Togo. Uh, you Togo said. wasn't for YouTube, so I, I'm but out of still you've been yeah, there. Togo, yeah, so seven? <laughs> yeah. Yes, seven countries. So among those, which was your favorite destination? Yeah, they're all awesome. You they're must all say awesome. Kenya or oh. we end this video. They're all awesome. <laughs> but let me tell you, let me lie, Kenya is the best. <laughs> no, that's not a lie, but um, mm -hmm. Kenya has been really awesome, like, you know, I visited Kenya three times, yeah. and every country I visit in East Africa, mm -hmm. I still come to Kenya. Mm -hmm. So you should you should know that Kenya is really nice. Kenya yeah. is amazing. The people, man, how like everything is just like my home. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So if you are traveling, please make sure you come and pass through Kenya before you go back home. <laughs> Which is your that destination that you feel like if you got an opportunity to go there, I mean, you will have done it you will have done it all your favorite my, my favorite tourist destination. destination tourist destination yeah oh. one is namibia mm -hmm. and um the second one is a swatini mm, africa yes africa. Just africa why the swatini <laughs> yeah. you know what happens there <laughs> yeah so i know I'm what's curious. going on there now but <laughs> like not worried <laughs> <laughs> yo, if you know the history, you know it. So it's okay. The culture is always amazing. You want to be a king? <laughs> There's some man behind the camera. He wants to be a king. <laughs> this man is giving sir, me problems. So, sir, some people can be dancing yeah, for him. If yeah, you yeah, watch no. some of his videos, right, there are some people that you interviewed. They said something. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, so Eswatini in Namibia, and also I mm. want uh, outside Africa. Outside Africa, I'll try Papua New Guinea. Uh huh. Yes, uh, because they look like us, but they read them as Asians or oh. uh, what's the name? Patience or something. Mm. Yeah. But I'll try Papua New Guinea mm -hmm. and also Namibia in uh, Eswatini. So you mentioned you sleep like four hours or five mm. hours. So what do you do to unwind, to relax, if you're not working, other than sleeping? Because <laughs> most of the times I want to learn something new because of graphic mm -hmm. design. If you stop working, if you stop designing, mm -hmm. you forget designs. You don't follow the trend. Because mm -hmm. every every single minute there is a new trend. Mm -hmm. So that's what keeps me so busy, especially with graphic design. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, and YouTube and for is. for you, that relaxes you. Yes, yeah. relaxing and all that, watching um, YouTube videos and mm -hmm. that also relaxes me. So you're an indoor kind of a person. Yes, yes, yes. Because I was trying to see any hobbies around, maybe sports mm, or you never see traveling. I always hide. <laughs> ah, but travel to you is your your work. Yes, yes, yes. So what is Nappy most afraid of? Most afraid of uh, to lose my life. I think so. Death. Yes. yes. Death. <laughs> it's, it will always come to us, but yeah. that's what I'm scared of. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe I've not like nobody can f finish accomplishing everything on earth, mm -hmm. but 
that's what I'm scared of. Wow. I have to I, like I have to try and accomplish whatever mm -hmm. I want to accomplish before then. Mm. That's it. Um, so far, what has been your biggest life achievement? To travel. Traveling has been your biggest, yes. your yes. ultimate. Right. Yeah. To travel. And as you conclude, what would you want people to remember you for? Mm. You say you fear death. Yes. So, <laughs> God forbid, but yes. in case you die, what is that legacy you want to leave behind? The legacy I want to leave behind is, um, okay, it can be worse. Mm -hmm. um, I want to say, just face your fears, mm -hmm. do whatever you want to do, mm -hmm. and leave it. Mm -hmm. So that's the legacy yes. of facing fear, yes. living... Living your best life. Living your best life. Yes. Just remember me with these words. Mm -hmm. Just face your fears and live your best life. Mm -hmm. All right, so guys, I hope that you've learned something about mm -hmm. Napi Briggs that you did not know. In case you have any questions for him that yes. I might not have asked, Put leave them in the, the comment section. He'll be there, be there to, to actively answer, to answer them. <laughs> and in case you've not uh, given this video a like, give it a Please like. Do so. Subscribe to mm. my channel if you haven't yeah. and hit the notification bell that Bing is bong. next to the subscription <laughs> button and so that you get notified whenever I make a new upload. So awesome. thank you very much for watching this video till the end. Do you have any last uh, I want to say thank you so much for help, uh, mm. having me in, mm. in Kenya and um, having me on your channel. Mm. I want to say please keep subscribing to the YouTube channel lights bobs moment she's doing <laughs> so much like she deserves it guys and please go ahead and subscribe to the Breast youtube channel yeah um i'll be here for some time mm -hmm. so if you're out there you're looking at us right now please come and look for us where else can they follow you um on, on instagram nappy breaks on mm -hmm. facebook andrew nappy breaks mm -hmm. um Austria media nappy breaks yeah. twitter everywhere nappy breaks thank you yes. guys i'm the guy on the camera they want, they're trying to avoid me <laughs> but subscribe to african travel as well i'm the guy i'm the guy on the camera finalize yes. so see you guys on the next one bye bye, -bye. <laughs>